Hello, in this video we're going to be looking at the settings for the one-time payment product. So if you selected this membership tab, you'll see the price option available and then you'll see an expiry option. This is the price they'll pay for access to this product and they won't have to pay any more after that. If you want to expire this product, you can uncheck this box which is the default setting and then if that's unchecked, you can set the expiry here. Basically, once this expires, they won't have any more access to this product. Below this is basically cancellation. So perhaps you wanted to cancel a subscription when this product is purchased. For example, you may have a lifetime offer and then that will cancel the subscription of a previous product when they purchase this product. And below this, there's a bundle option. So if you add a bundle here, they'll get access to these products when they purchase this single product. Below that is the WordPress user role. So basically this is the role that they'll be assigned when they actually purchase this product. So you can select from any of the user roles that are on your WordPress site and the member will be assigned with that user role. Generally, we just say leave this on subscriber because this is a kind of a more advanced setting. So if we actually look at the sales page for the single product, You'll see here the wizard has created a page for us and we can change this layout at any time. The form at the side has been added with the block editor and you can edit any of these details. So we'll just go and quickly take a look at that. So when you look at the form, it's a preview of what it's going to look like on the page when the member's not logged in. And then when they fill out this form, it'll take them to the next step. And if the member's logged in, they'll just see this second step so they don't need to actually fill out the details. So what we can do here is change the products in this form. We can add multiple products and then we can also change the button text, the button color and choose whether we want to have terms on the form as well and whether we want to have PayPal or just Stripe. So if I change the button text now and let's adjust the color and if we update the page and take a quick look, you can see how the purchase form has changed. So we've got two products here. The price will change based on which product you select and then obviously they can fill out the card details and make a purchase. So back here in the block editor, let's just put this form back to normal. We'll just put a single product and we'll display the terms and we'll show the PayPal button and we'll leave the button as it is. And then if we refresh the page, that's now ready again to take payments. So in other videos, there's more details on the subscription product settings and the free product settings.